Hello and welcome to this week's video where I'll be going over the 3 or 4 steps you can take to become a better car builder. Number 1 is to start small and don't judge yourself. It may seem simple but I forget this every single time. Well I don't forget, I'm just impatient. So why don't you stand up and turn around 3 times and shout out on the top of your lungs I'll to else's back fucking channel out there. Or you know you can just press the like and subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks. Second step in becoming a better car builder is to copy the pros. What I mean is build the cars LEGO coming out with. That's why I went out and got the Nissan Skyline and the Porsche 963. The speed champions are 8 stud wide, which is a pretty adequate size for mini city scale and it gives you more room for those cool details. Third step in becoming a better car builder is to modify the cars the pros make. It's so like here I took the Nissan Skyline and removed the roof and now I have a convertible. Alright, alright, alright. How about this? How about we take the Aston Martin and I remove the roof and we have a convertible? Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about we take the Toyota Supra and I'll make it in the convertible? All joking aside, I did make a substantial change here, though it's hard to see, which I'll take as a success. I pretty much just changed the whole top section, left the base as it is. Also changed some things in the inside. I really like the lights in the front. I'm not quite sure it's from the Aston Martin, I, I don't know. I also made a change to the boot, or, or the trunk, I can't remember if it's England or, or the States, but to me the trunk is in the front of an elephant. And yeah, you can see it changed the insides, I put in a back seat and I gave the front seats two headrests. Fourth step in my improvement history is to find people online who have amazing tutorials. Jerry Bills Bricks, for example, is one I can recommend. For me at least, he's right about the level I can keep up with. I really like the cartoon theme in this one and the pop culture reference of the next one. Extra points for anyone who guessed it in the comments. But I need to remember my first advice to start small. So in my first mock, I tried to build the Volvo 740 or 940. This is the car I remember we had growing up. I think I got pretty close in this one. So trying to go up one scale, I tried to build the kit from Knight Rider. And this build, I don't know, I wouldn't give too high of a grade. And I don't think I got away with this build at all. I only tried it because I found these front panels and thought they were a perfect match. For my final piece, I actually wanted to make a hot rod. So as always, I tried to start small, had a bit of a goofy idea here. And then probably just because I built a police car before this, I got this for my final piece. Which is a pretty monster hot ride. Overall, that's pretty good. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Why not? I mean, I said I wouldn't judge myself, but hey, do as I do, not as I say. Or as I say, not as I do. You know what I mean. So don't press subscribe. But yeah, that'll be it for me this time. Hope you enjoyed yourself, I learned something, and uh, and I keep trying. As always, you have a good day. See you later. Bye. Well, actually, I just do one more thing for you diehards before I go. I made a lot of cars, and a lot of them didn't go out well. But at least this one, it moves, and also extra points for using car parts in your car. Come on, you gotta love that.